Hello everyone. This video is going to talk about how to swap the PCB board to rescue a Western digital hard drive. The hard drive PCB board damage is a very common reason to cause the hard drive not to work. This picture shows a hard drive with a burned PCB board. This video is going to talk about how to fix this PCB board to rescue the hard drive. Before fixing the PCB board, let us do a basic analysis on the board. The red boxes show each part of the board and its function. 1. Actuator contacts. Actuator is the thing inside the hard drive who can choose read and write the disk. These contacts are very important. Sometimes these contacts got rusty and the hard drive will not work properly. So cleaning the actuator contacts sometimes can fix the problem caused by the poor connection of the contacts. 2. Voltage regulator and others. This red box includes the components who works for a voltage regulator and something else. Sometimes uh, these components uh, will be damaged by a power surge or something else. 3. Motor IC. This chip controls the motor inside the hard drive to spin up the disks. So a lot of power come into this chip. Most of the time, this chip is the first victim to be born to get burned. 5. Firmware IC. This is a memory chip which stores all the critical information of the hard drive, like manufacturer, configuration data, and something else. This is a very important chip, and in the rest of this video, we are going to talk about it more. 6. RAM IC This RAM IC is used by the hard drive CPU. 7. CPU chip This is the CPU chip on the hard drive board, controls all the activity of the hard drive. After finishing the basic analysis of the PCB board, let us go back take a look of the damaged PCB board. The motor chip is burned very badly, as we can see it. For other chips, we are not sure if they are damaged as well. There is one special IC on the board, which is the former IC. This chip holds all the critical information of the hard drive. One very important thing is that we can test this chip, good or bad, and also we can test the information on this chip is good or bad. For other chips on the PCB board, it is hard to test them. For example, the main IC. It is really hard to test the main IC is working or not. So, replacing the chip on the board, it is not an easy and reliable solution. So, we consider to swap the whole PCB board instead of fix the chip on the board. Because the donor board is from a working hard drive, so the donor board is guaranteed it's working. And also, we can transfer the information from the bad PCB board to the good donor board. We can test the information of the firmware from the memory chip. So we guarantee the board is good, the firmware is good, so we can have a good working donor board will be compatible with the original hard drive. We are continuing to talk about how to find a correct donor board and how to make an identical cloned PCB board. We use the hard drive model number and the PCB board number as reference to find the correct donor board. 
we do PCB board from a transfer to make an identical PCB board, which is 100% compatible with the old hard drive. Locate the model number of the hard drive. Locate the board number of the hard drive PCB board. You may go to www.hdd-parts.com in the search box, input the board number, and then click on Go. The correct donor board is found. PCB board firmware PCB board firmware is the information data on the PCB board. It may be in the memory chip or in the main chip on the PCB board. For this model hard drive, we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer first, then we swap the PCB board. Otherwise, the new board will not work on the original hard drive. Why do we have to do the PCB board firmware transfer? Because for this model hard drive, one PCB board includes two parts hardware and firmware. The PCB board firmware includes hard drive's unique configuration data. The hard drive needs this unique configuration data to work. So we have to transfer this unique configuration data from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. Regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware transfer, we have three things to mention. First, PCB board firmware transfer is different from the hard drive firmware upgrade. The PCB board firmware transfer is to transfer the PCB board firmware from one board to another board. The hard drive firmware upgrade is to upgrade the hard drive's own firmware it nothing to do with another hard drive or another PCB board. Second, we can do the PCB board firmware transfer from the physically damaged PCB board, like a burned, watered, or other kind of damage. Our PCB board firmware transfer success rate is more than 95%. Third, we do the PCB board firmware transfer for our clients for free. This picture illustrated the procedure of fixing a hard drive PCB board. First, the clients sent in their PCB board. Two, we fix the PCB board. Three, we ship back the PCB board to the clients. We receive many questions regarding the hard drive PCB board firmware, also called hard drive PCB board bias, and the hard drive PCB board compatibility. So let's talk a little bit more about this in general. Some PCB boards BIOS are in the independent memory chip like the first picture shows. Some PCB board's BIOS are integrated into the main IC, like the second picture shows. Most of the modern hard drive PCB boards need to do the BIOS transfer before swapping the PCB board. Even the donor boards are identical with the original boards in hardware we have to transfer the BIOS from the original board to the donor board. Then the donor board can work on the original hard drive. The third picture shows some of these PCB boards. But there are some hard drive PCB boards do not need the BIOS transfer. As long as the donor boards are identical with the original boards, you can swap the boards directly. The fourth picture shows some of this kind of boards. 
if you have any questions, such as how to find a donor board, if your board need to do the bias transfer, where is the bias of your PCB board, how to swap your PCB board, please go to www.hdd-parts.com to check it out or you may take pictures of your hard drive and the PCB board and email to us. We will give you the correct answer. Thank you so much for taking your precious time to watch my video. Any comments are really appreciated. If this video is a little bit of help, could you please click on like to support me? Thank you again. Bye.